All right, you are happy and proud. You have your brand new leather furniture. It looks great, it feels great, but you're wondering, how do I clean and maintain it? What do I do if there's a stain? And things you should never do? We're gonna answer all those questions if you watch this video to the end. Hey everybody, I'm Mike from Woodstock Furniture and Mattress Outlet. So you have your new leather, it's beautiful, but you know leather is an investment. So watch this video to the end, we'll tell you about basic maintenance for your leather, what to do if there's a stain, and also things you should never do. For that, we need an expert, so let's bring in Kathy Nunn, over 10 years of experience in furniture. So our leather, give us some tips on how to clean it. Well, first of all, Mike, you do want to clean it. Um, a misnomer with leather that it kind of takes care of itself and it doesn't so you want to just periodically vacuum when you're vacuuming your your rugs vacuum your leather as well if you don't you could also use just a duster and go over you know being sure to get in the crevices just going over it that way you get all the grit off and when someone sits down it's not rubbing into the leather. Got it, okay, yeah. basic tip for you there. I also hear that distilled water is good, and we happen to have some distilled water in a pail. Do you recommend using this as well? Absolutely, distilled water is always the best to use. Um, you just take a clean cloth. You wanna okay. wring it out really good. You don't need too much, too much moisture, just wipe it down like that. That simple. It is. Um, make sure you get in the crevices because that's where the grit likes to to land and kind of hide. But that's it. Okay. Two basic tips for you. All right. We've given you some basic maintenance tips. Now the dicey situation. Kathy, we get a stain. I'm sipping coffee, and whoops, there we go. What do we do? That's right, that's the look. First thing you do is you go grab a dry cloth and you want to blot, not rub, just blot. Okay, so that might work. Number two, I'm guessing we get our distilled water rolling again, warm it up a little bit, and we try that, right? Exactly, if the blotting doesn't work, then you go to just the water. Okay, and then same situation, don't grind in. The... Right. What do we, slow? You just want to slow. With This is just a damp cloth with distilled water, just slow circular motions. Got it, okay, so act quickly, blot, don't rub, we're trying water. Next up, we have a little non-detergent soap. Yes. What are we doing with that? So say the kids spilled something and it sat there for a while and you come home and you're like, oh my gosh, yes. So you wanna get a little, like you said, non-detergent soap. There we go. A rag. Squeeze it out really good. And you don't need much soap, just a small amount. Then you're going to just go in small circular motions with the soap. Follow it with just your wet cloth. Get the soap off with that, right? Exactly. And last up? You could just dry it. Okay. Green and means we're good to go, huh? That's right. We'll jump in here and do a little work. And there you have it. I think it worked, nice it job. It did, no stains. All right, we've hit the stains, we've hit some basic maintenance. Now things you should never do, what should we, what's a no-no with our leather here? So main thing is no harsh chemicals. Household cleaners, if you get a stain, you never wanna grab that. Always go back to what we just went over. Got it, um, swimming pool. That's something we don't think about, but there can be some harsh chemicals there, right? Absolutely. Regardless if it's chlorine or salt water, you don't ever want to come in and plop down on your leather sofa with a wet bathing suit. Got that it. can definitely damage the leather. Some other chemicals to think about, same, in the same vein, sunscreen can't be good, right? Right, no sunscreen. Um, you know, you just want to think about that before you sit down, if you just put on sunscreen, um, lotions, you don't want to do your nails on your sofa. Got it. Um, that's Tempting though, to it's me. nice and comfy, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, it is. But nail polish remover would take that finish off that quick. Got it. Okay, so there are some basic chemicals to avoid, things not to do. One other thing is, I think, and I this happened to me in our family. We left our leather in sunlight way too long. Yeah. Trouble, right? Absolutely. You don't want to do that. Um, 
You can have your curtains cover the part where of the window where the sun comes directly in on that corner or whatever it may be. Um, also, if it's not where you can do that, you can just toss a throw, um, decorate with a throw and cover up the part of the sofa where the sun comes in. Perfect, because if not, you could get fading, color change, cracking, all of that stuff. You do not want that. So great stuff there. One last thing to think about, a way to protect our leather is our furniture care protection plan. Yes, regardless if it's leather, fabric, wood, um, whatever it is, I always recommend that you do our furniture care protection. Um, it's just a great investment because we take care of your furniture. Our guys come to your home and um, so if you get that stain or something happens, just call us and our guys will be right out to take care of it. And one more thing to consider. Kathy, well done. Thank you. Great job by Kathy there as we really want to know how to protect our leather. She also mentioned furniture care protection. So here's what we want you to do. Go to our YouTube channel and we have videos on furniture care protection, really digging in on uh, furniture care protection for upholstered furniture, outdoor furniture, also wood. So check out those videos and thanks for watching this one. We'll see you next time.